everybody it's rain and in today's video this is going to be stage 21 of the tour de fleece 2022 this is the very last day of the tour and this is the fiber that we've been working on throughout the tour on all of the challenge days and this video we're going to be applying it this is hand washed hand combed uh, hand processed CVM California variegated mutant otherwise known as Rommeldale it is a Romney Rambouillet cross and um, this is some of the process. This is clips from other videos. I'm going to link all of the tour playlist in the top right corner. You can click that little I and it will take you to the playlist of what we've been doing for this entire tour on the challenge days. So I started out uh, by combing it and this is spinning it. Spinning some of the singles, I spun it in a gradient style for my challenge this year for the Tour de Fleece. Did a semi-worsted style spin, semi-woolen, semi-worsted. I combed it and prepped it into a combed top, but spun it with a little bit more air and fluffiness to it, not worrying about keeping the fibers completely lined up the whole time. So if you want to see any of that process, just click that top right corner and it will show you all of the videos of the tour. I'm so excited to be getting this last video out of the tour. I know I'm really, really behind, but I'm also really, really pregnant and about to pop as well. More on that later. Let's get started. The first thing we want to make sure we do is change our Z-twist to S-twist to ply. I spun my singles in Z-twist. So we have to make sure we change our rotation of our spinning wheel to the opposite direction to make sure it plies correctly. Probably the most important step to not forget to do. Now I'm going to be chain plying this. So I have to kind of load it onto the leader a little bit differently. I have to make a loop and pull the thread that is connected to the bobbin through that loop to start a new loop. And then we're going to keep pulling the thread through the loop and through the loop and through the loop as you'll see here in just a minute I don't recommend starting it the way that I started it in this video because you end up having to cut it when you take it off the bobbin to get it off of that leader and still keep it nice and neat I do have have another video on how to chain ply I will link it up in the eye in the top right corner of your screen here I would recommend checking that one out for a little bit more in-depth tutorial on how to chain ply or Navajo Pla, whatever you prefer to call it. So I got pretty much footage from each little segment of spinning that I did. You can see all of the different colors as we go through the video. You can see it, this is the lightest that we started with, and it's gonna get to the really dark color that we started with on the singles. So it's gonna be pretty cool to see it going through this video. And I'm going to put some relaxing music on, and this is going to be the last video like this. All of my tour videos are like this because I pretty much just didn't know what to say for the entire length of the video. But I did want to give you guys an update. Our next video, I've already filmed it. It's ready to go. It is this finished skein of yarn. We're going to set the twist in it and I'm going to show you the final results of what it looks like off the bobbin and see if our gradient turned out the way that it was supposed to and how our challenge went for the tour. And I will also be showing you the finished skein of my husband's sock yarn that we did for the tour that we spun up. It is super wash merino nylon and I tried to go for a chain plied fingering. So I'm almost finished editing it and then that will be ready as well. And the one you've all probably been waiting for, the big gender reveal. And I also have a very special surprise coming to my Etsy shop for that gender reveal as well. So stay tuned for that. So I know it's been quite a while since I've uploaded. I've just had to take some time off to get the house ready for a new baby and get all of the old baby stuff out. As most of you know, if you've been watching me for a little while, I have two babies already. I have a boy and a girl, and they are a little older though. So they're a little bit older than toddlers now. So I have pretty much all the baby stuff that I need. Anyways... So here is what I've got done so far. I did a little bit of playing off camera. 
And as you can see, that color is starting to get a little bit darker as we go along. And I decided to put a black backdrop down so you can really, really see the technique of pulling the loop through and the way that I chain ply. I thought this chain ply went really, really smoothly. So I hope some of my close ups and this nice dark background will help you see and hopefully help you get a little bit more of an idea of how I chain ply and how it can go pretty smoothly if you just take your time and use a proper good technique for it with quite a bit of practice of course so I'm gonna go ahead and put some really relaxing music on I hope you spin along with me and watch the rest of this video and I will see you at the end and it really really does help me if you watch the whole video through I don't know if you all know that about YouTube or not. It always um, boosts the video and helps it a lot to watch it all the way through. So hopefully you can spin with me. If not, that's okay either way. Regardless, I'm thankful that you even clicked on this video and made it this far. I'm very, very grateful and thankful for that. So thank you and let's get that music going. <laughs> So here we are finishing off the last little bit of fiber on our bobbin. That last little bit of single is always the funnest part to me. And then getting to take it off the bobbin and see what it looks like. So I'm so excited and I hope you join me in the next video where we take it off the bobbin after it sets for a little bit. I already have it all recorded and everything. It's ready to go. It should be out next week but I can't make any promises because I'm very pregnant and the baby could be coming at any time. So I went ahead and got it off of the spinning wheel and we're going to take a quick look at it. You can see how much darker it is and you can see a little bit of the light gray peeking through on the right side there. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I cannot wait to show you guys the full skein after we wash it and set it and everything. 
So please subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned. I've got a lot more coming for fall and I've got some new fiber I want to show you guys. A new base for us to dye and for us to spin. I've got all kinds of stuff coming out. I've just been so pregnant and had a really rough pregnancy this time around. So I hope you guys can forgive me for taking some time off and getting some bed rest. It was much needed. So thank you all from the bottom of my heart for sticking with me. So as I said before, we got some really cool stuff planned. I've got so many colorways I want to try. I've been taking pictures of the fall leaves and some of the landscape that is that I live around it's really gorgeous and I want to recreate that in some colorways so stay tuned and I hope you guys are excited as I am I think you guys are really gonna like it have a wonderful day stay safe be careful out there I love you all so much and I'll see you next time bye bye